Dear friends, greetings. On this beautiful night, with the moonlight as soft as water, I'd like to share with you a touching story about the Mid-Autumn Festival. And I'd also like to extend my best wishes to you all. Long ago, there were ten suns in the sky, all of whom were the sons of the Heavenly Emperor. Every day, one sun would take turns appearing in the sky, bringing light and warmth to the earth. However, one day, all ten suns appeared at once, causing the land to become unbearably hot. Rivers dried up, crops withered, animals couldn't find water, and people suffered greatly. At this time, a brave archer named Ho Yi decided to save everyone. He climbed to the top of a tall mountain and drew his divine bow, aiming at the suns in the sky. With all his strength, he shot down one sun after another. He shot down nine suns in total, leaving only the last one, restoring the Earth's temperature to normal. People were deeply grateful to Ho Yi and hailed him as a great hero. The Heavenly Emperor recognized Ho Yi's accomplishments and rewarded him with a pill of immortality. Whoever consumed this pill would ascend to heaven and become immortal, forever young. However, Ho Yi was unwilling to leave his beloved wife, Chang'e, so he entrusted the pill to her for safekeeping and told her not to let anyone else know about it. One day, Ho Yi's apprentice, Feng Meng, learned about the pill and grew greedy. He took advantage of Ho Yi's absence, broke into the house, and threatened Chang'e to hand over the pill. In a moment of desperation, Chang'e swallowed the pill to prevent it from falling into the wrong hands. Immediately, she felt her body become light, and she floated off the ground, soaring into the sky. Finally, Chang'e reached the moon and became a celestial being in the moon palace. When Ho Yi returned home, he found that Chang'e was gone, and his heart was filled with sorrow. He looked up at the bright moon, and it seemed as though he could see Chang'e smiling down at him from within the moon. To commemorate her, Ho Yi placed Chang'e's favorite foods in the courtyard, praying that they might meet again. When people learned of this touching story, they began, on the 15th day of the 8th lunar month when the moon is at its fullest and brightest, to gather with their families, admire the moon, and eat mooncakes, expressing their longing for Chang'e and their hopes for family reunions. This tradition has continued to this day, and the Mid-Autumn Festival has become a holiday symbolizing reunion and happiness. Let us cherish every moment we spend with our families and enjoy this beautiful time together. Thank you for watching. I hope this Mid-Autumn Festival story has brought you warmth and emotion. If you liked this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content. Wishing you all a happy mid-autumn festival and wonderful time with your family. See you next time.